Mushrooms play a very important role in any breeding program and today we'll be looking at how to select a quality good breeding ram. The ram's head needs to be wide and long as you can see and the other important thing you need to look at is the ears. The ears need to be long as this describes and is able to signify the temperament of the ram. You will notice this young boy is quite friendly. Yeah. What you also need to look at is the jaws. A ram's jaws need to be strong jaws. Why? This will also determine the ram's growth rate and this will also be correlated to the weight gains of its progenies. The other thing you need to look at is the length of the neck. The neck needs to be broad and long, as is clearly signified in this young breeding ram. You also need to look at the legs. The legs need to be well sturdy, and also the hoofs need to be well trimmed. You will notice that the legs of this particular ram run straight vertically, straight to the shoulder. This is a good sign. The legs should never be too at the front because this will signify weak legs, which will also be correlated to the progenies that will be born. The other thing we need to look at is the length of the back. Yeah. This is a good sign when it comes to meat conversion. If you're looking at meat or keeping sheep for meat, this will also signify and be able to be replicated in your lambs that would be born out of such a breeding ram. Yeah. And this will also mean higher growth rates, higher weight gains, and resulting in more money in your pocket. Another important characteristic when you're selecting your ram is the testicle size. This is very important because in rams or in sheep in general, the size of testicles signify fertility. Smaller testicles, they are not uh, desired. And what is desired is more larger testicles. Yeah? As you can clearly see, in this young boy, the size of the testicles are quite admirable. The other thing is that they are even. Yeah, none is sloping down. They are all evenly balanced. Yeah. Another thing we need to look at is the rump, the backside. Right. If you notice in this boy, he has quite a healthy and protruding rump. This also is a good quality that can be passed on to his ewes that are born, and the ewes will be able to provide uh, and be having easier lambing due to their ramp size. Another important trait when you're selecting your ram is a cover, the hair cover, or the fur on the, on the ram. You should go for a ram that has loose, light cover with a clean underbelly. Yeah. This should be a trait that you should strictly be looking out for. Yeah.